had to retire out. And the disabling part is I can't do the things I used to do. So I have to fill my life up with things that I can do and focus on what I can do. Take on a quilting project, a pad. It's like a puzzle. When you do a quilting, you're cutting out little cookie dough pieces, and then you'll have to look at the at the legend. To and it's like putting a puzzle together. I'll start by organizing my mess. It has made me feel depressed because I can't do the things I used to do. I used to be a great track star runner. Loved to do track and field. Can't do that anymore. Dying cotton. So I drew these pictures on each one of them and I did free motion embroidery to outline them. This one is the Hyacinth and McCall and I got a ribbon for that one. So these are some of my wearables. I can do clothing construction. This is a vest I made with a companion purse to match. And this is a Applique Phoenix Bird I made. Uh, and this is just a handbag I made out of a pair of men, man, men's slack. And this is the Hawaiian quilt. Get the uh, aloe vera and then I mixed it with the ink and it became our medium. And then I free motioned quilted it. I got this the showing stopper award. Our therapy is very therapeutic because it is a thing that you can do anytime. Well, this whenever is you feel like it, whenever you can, whenever you get inspired. I cut apart and I'm gonna get this uh, adhesive and iron it on so it won't stretch. This is for my friend Charlene when I get it done. She likes that. Scleroderma, there are a lot of hand issues that are deformity. So when there's ulcers at the tip or calcium deposits, it's very hurtful. This is a bra and I used a little gold McCall feathers that were moated. You didn't never pull them off a bird. And I hot glued it onto this bra, so I got an award. It was for the breast cancer awareness and fundraiser. And here's another drawing of mine of a dog, and I did. I drew this one. And this is a work in progress. This outline I made is a picture I probably want to paint. It's probably a watercolor. And this is the sketch of my family's Chinese laundry back in the days. We didn't have any pictures, so I'm going to recreate it. My creativity is a strength because it has given me better problem-solving skills mentally, I think emotionally, and mentally. These are all the ribbons I won for my artwork and also writing. Right here. This is when my old glory was in the newspaper. I got second place in the VA Veterans Creative Art Festival in the national level. And here's a picture of my old A lot of times people who are think about art creativity, they don't have the esteem or confidence. And so they look at your, look, look at the voices, whether it's from other people or themselves, look at their inner critic part because sometimes that will stop somebody from being creative. Very competitive. And here's when I was with, I got a writing, I can't remember, I placed, for, I think I placed uh, second in the writing contest here. And for people who just want to start off something small project, like a little sewing project, you can make a little sign for yourself like I did up here. And you could put something together, paint it. This has happened to be on fabric. I just did cutouts, like cut and paste. Uh, so I cut it and I put that word together. And you could just use a 3M tape and just put it right there and make yourself something simple at home. And then, you know, you know, this is crazy quilting. I took an old placemat someone gave me. I couldn't stand it. It was so ugly. And I made it real beautiful. And I just did some top stitching. And there, there you go, 3M tape. I'm just squaring the edges. I ironed this fusible, so on this knit fabric I cut out of a t-shirt. I'm, I'm stopping the stretching. I cut some border fabrics to make a border. 
I'm just going to fold it like, like so. I'm not even going to iron it. I'm just going to cut it because it's not a matter of not being worried about being perfect. It's just doing it. And then I use Mud Podge and then I just sealed it, everything. And then for this border, I just cut a strip of fabric. And just like if I was quilting, I just glued it. I just hot glued this border on it. On the back. If they wanted to be a speaker, I said, heck, go for it. And then they can talk about things that they've done to overcome or how to, li how to live well with chronic illness. Turning different colors as mine are turning a little bit in this air conditioned room. I used to make the simplest little peasant tops and I remember the time where I just couldn't keep up on any job and I didn't know why. Couldn't, I was always late to work. I felt like a failure for someone who's gone to a couple, as I went to universities, taking myself to the military. And it was just out of scraps, low budget art. Anybody can do it because I want to make it like anybody can afford to do it. I got to shoot sheet music from the Tempe Library, they were just giving it away, and I colored it with just pencil or marker, sharpies would be fine, anything you have, crayons, color pencils, and then for this border, I just cut a strip of fabric, and just like if I was quilting, I just glued it, I just hot glued this border on it. On the back, you use the other side of it because you want to make use of your resources, and this is another bird, crazy bird, I need to finish one day. A lot of times people who are think about art creativity, they don't have the esteem or confidence. And so they look at your look look at the voices, whether it's from other people or themselves, look at their inner critic part. And just seeing that simple top made me it just really held me together, it really grounded me. So I didn't stress, I didn't get too depressed. Just seeing that, you know, it was a success.